Thank you for coming to join us today and thank you to Ian for letting us uh, visit Bang & Olufsen of Manchester. Yes. The plan is we have the ultimate beginner's guide for you. If you want to build the best home cinema and music setup in existence. Danish. Danish. Danish setup yeah. in existence. Yes, mm. absolutely. Yeah. Nice and easy in building blocks so that you can start low and build up without ever making a wrong decision. This is the video for you. And I think the answer to it is behind us, isn't it? It is. Really? It's the it's the theatre uh, and the I'll move that way. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the the way that the theatre deals with uh, the the room that the theatre is placed in, yes. and what you can actually do with the theatre. Uh, now, if your budget, Steve, is to just have a phenomenal sound bar, yep. then the theatre will tick that box. It will do yes. everything you want it to. Ceiling, virtual ceiling height speakers, rear speakers uh, that aren't there, and it's incredible. Yep. And you know, you're not going to get the the benefit of this in this video because it's a video. On YouTube mm -hmm. but if you get the opportunity of course as you have uh, to come to a store um, in the UK or any around the world yeah. um, the theatre will blow your socks off in relation to the, what it can do That's it's just on its own yeah but what we've done um, recently is we've added really the, the maximum number of speakers we can to it yeah in this setup mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's the maximum number of speakers you can add to it because no. uh, you can add quite a few more but in this setup we have here yeah. it is um, uh, it's full fat and a yeah. bit more. So yes. yeah, I can see, I don't know whether, it's, if we just lean the other way, we've got BLAB 50s behind us. So Go that way. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So that's, in my view, the ultimate real world music speaker. I don't know what you think there. It's well, I mean, 90s, of, 90s, 90s, are awesome. 90s, 90s are amazing. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, you know, um, almost 10 years ago when they were launched for the 90th anniversary, um, they were uh, and, and still are the staple Bang & Olufsen speaker yeah. and so much has come from them within the um, with, within the makeup of what Bang & Olufsen are in, in, you know, all the way down to the BLAB H just, just launched. Yeah. They've all started from the, from the idea and the mm -hmm. genesis that became the 90s. So yeah, it, it's, a, it's an exceptional product. Yeah. But the 50s as a step, a step up from BLAB 5s, which were again a great mm -hmm. speaker, um, yeah, I'm with you on that one. I think yeah. they're an amazing speaker. Yeah. But then the 28s, if you run them well and connect them properly, they, they, they handle it well. Mm. And, yeah. and it's one of the reasons why I chose within this demo to be able to give the option for having a 28 yeah. front and left right pair or a um, BLF 50 front yeah. and right pair. Um, so it gives you the option to say, look, mm. I don't want to spend um, the money for a BLR 50, but I do want a really good front pair. Yeah. Then the 28s do the job fine. Just as a pair of eights would do, to be fair, but it's just what the That's customer right. requires. That's right, you can scale up and down yeah, accordingly. Absolutely. But my, my view is that if you, maybe you're new to this, you want the absolute best real world for your stereo music, and you want the absolute best everyday performance for your movies, BLAB 50s will be at the front. Well, uh, yeah. You can pull uh, all your audio sources directly, directly into them. players, you, yeah, you yeah, can. your streamers, you can stream from the theatre, but you can have your CD players, laser disc players, you name it, any laser music disc. source. Yeah, laser discs. That's old school, that's <laughs> You want to watch your original Star Wars movies as in intended. Laser disc. In laser disc. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you've still got one that works, yeah. that's good. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, if you name it, it can go straight into the BLAB 50s for the purest music because you've got stereo phono inputs, you've got a digital coaxial input, yep. you've got optical input. No, I get it, yeah, I get it. Yeah, you've got USB, so it's, they are the perfect direct stereo source. Yeah, I mean, if you, if, if you take the argument that an audio speaker should be for audio mm -hmm. and a video speaker should be for video and they should not meet, I think the 50s are a fantastic product they can do yeah, both. That's so right. I, I, can't, I can't disagree with that at all. Yeah. But again, I, I would say that the 28s do a similar, similar thing. That's right. Um, uh, but not as well, because yeah. obviously it's yeah. not moving as much air. I mean, right. BLF 50s are still a big speaker yeah. um, to fit into a room, but they do they do look beautiful. Yeah. I mean, uh, we've got them in the black finish with yeah. the aluminium uh, front. I'm sure takes nice pictures in a second. Yeah. Some close-ups, um, and it does make a difference mm. uh, in in the in the way that the shot presented. Because we we, yeah. we had the uh, we had the 90s before, um, and. Uh, 
which, which we enjoyed, um, but we've now moved them on. Um, yeah. And uh, we're, we're really happy with the 50s, I've got to say. Yes. They, 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 it's a speaker that's coming to its own. Mm. No, it's not got its big brother hanging over it. Yes, I think that's Which I think well. is a problem in itself, but you know, it, 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 is a, it is a speaker that's right for more people, I would say, than, than say the 90s, because you do need a very big room for in the yeah. 90s. But. Well, I, th I think my, my view is always trying to give a motoring analogy, because it's easier to place things then. Okay. And I always say BLAB 90, it's the absolute best. It's like having a Bugatti Veyron. It's that, I've never had one, but I'm no, sure it's no, lovely, yeah. But it's that ultimate high end. It will, do, it will fill a concert hall. Whereas BLAB 50 is almost no, virtually no less of a speaker, but it lets you, it's a little more down to earth. It's like having a Porsche 911. You could go shopping in it, yes. and no one will bat an eyelid. Yeah, you could go shopping in the fear on, no, I don't think. No, exactly. Whereas, yeah, this is, this is a little more achievable for more people, I think. You've yeah. got, and potentially, you know, we could be, you could be looking at an ultimate home cinema and combined ultimate music system here for, well, let's see. Yeah, theatre, the lab fifties, and maybe some twenty eights or lab eights. Yeah, there is. Uh, yeah. And again, you, yeah, I have sixty to sixty thousand, yeah. sixty k roughly, and it depends on the configuration and the specification how yeah. you do it. Um, but again, w when you put ceiling heights in, which we've done here, mm -hmm. uh, it has another dimension yeah. um, to the uh, to the setup. It's just tailoring it to what it can do. That's right. I think the yeah. key with this, Steve, is is that. The theatre is capable of doing whatever you want to throw at it. Yeah. That's the key. Whatever you want as the client, as your ultimate, mm -hmm. because it's ultimately it's your ultimate, yes. not my ultimate, no, that's or right. someone mine, else's or, ultimate. Yeah. Mm. It's it's what the customer envisages is as a um, cinema uh, experience yeah. or an audio experience. Um, it is a personal choice. You buy what you buy to fit into your environment. And for yeah. example, if you take people's viewing habits, um, they are Disney Plus. Netflix, mm -hmm. um, Amazon, all these formats support virtually everything that you watch on those formats is in at least at least 7.1 or, mm -hmm. or if not Atmos, full Atmos. Yeah. Um, so it's just tapping into that source yes. and that's really yeah. all you're doing is just mm -hmm. reliving what was originally intended when the film was made. That's right. I mean, I love the fact with the theatre, we, we've shown it here with an LG G3 panel. It's a G3 panel. Yeah. yeah, but potentially it'll work with any screen. The LGs go up to I think 98 inches. Yes. Um, the but potentially you could be putting a Sony, a Panasonic, a Samsung, any any brand of screen on there. You could be working with whatever setup you want. It could work with a projector. Yes. So you build can that. you can completely mix and match. The sky's the limit, and you can build up. There's never a point where you have to throw away part of the setup you've built so far. To go, you can just keep adding. So you yes. could start with the theatre. You could add some BLAB 8s, you could add some ceiling speakers, you could yeah. move the BLAB 8s from the front to the back and put some 28s in. You could change those 28s to 50s and put the 28s at the back. So what yeah. would be, let's see, we've got your store set up here, yep. how would you build this at home? And how what, would I build yeah, it? Yeah, what would be well, your well, steps? The first, well, the first thing I would do is have to divorce my wife because she won't let me to <laughs> allow me to actually have any speakers <laughs> yeah. in my front room. So I, I literally would be lucky to get past the theatre. Right. Yeah. So the theatre is mine. Yeah. That's that's mm -hmm. the unit I use now. Yeah. Um, and but I, in all seriousness, I can't put speakers in my my room mm -hmm. um, because yeah, it, it it's not. It doesn't. It doesn't. Unfortunately, um, it doesn't have the uh, permission to do so. No. So yeah, I, I'll, I'll park that. I'll aspect. park that. Yeah. Uh, as as <laughs> as thirty years of marriage, yeah. I do as I'm told. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, I, I I have a soundbar. Yeah, and I'm really. very happy with my sound bar yeah. because it gives me speakers behind me that aren't there. Yes, um, and um, yeah, it works. Mm. So it's great. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there are there are some lucky chaps out there in the world uh, and, and ladies, ladies, of course, yeah. and ladies, of course, mm -hmm. who uh, don't necessarily have the problems that I have in yeah. the um, uh, marital department. Yeah. Uh, and and they can have extra speakers. And um, whilst you can have that, I would say personally speaking, a pair of lab eights um, mm. would do the job. Yeah. 28s, 28s at the front, lab 8s at the back. I don't think you need much more than that, really. No, that's right. Um, I would love some height speakers, and they're yes. not too difficult to fit now. Um, no, so, right. yeah, that, that's another one. Yeah. But, yeah, I've, I've got to say, 28s at the front, yeah. 8s at the back. Obviously, I won't be able to afford them because I'll be divorced, but, you know, you, you, you get where I'm coming from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, it's, yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's what it is. Oh, but, yeah. but luckily, 
I don't have that problem. Mm, no. Because at home, mm. I've got my theatre. Exactly, yeah. But I can come to work and listen to it. Yes. Not that I watch TV at work. <laughs> no. No, don't not. do that. I don't no. do any of that watching yeah. TV at work. No, yeah. no, no. But no. this, I mean, the, part of the reason I thought that we need to film here is this is my ultimate setup. Even with no other surrounds, no Atmos, 50s and the theatre for me because my first priority has got to be the music. My, I probably spend well, more yeah, time in yeah, the music than the movies. Yeah. Yeah. And for me, every, every day, real world music excellence, the Beer Lab 50s, if you haven't heard them, if you don't know what it's about, you, you've got to get to be in you know, Manchester or somewhere similar and you've got to hear them because these will redefine what you think you know in yes. sound. Yeah, when they're set up correctly, they mm. are just a sublime speaker. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah they, are, they are lovely. Uh, yeah. it's, it's like getting a warm hug from a friend. Exactly, yeah. yeah. They're, 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 they're really nice. Yeah, so over I'm to you, again. guys and ladies. Please drop us a note in the comments. Let us know what would you do if you were building the ultimate setup in your home. What's the priority? Music, movies, both? And what speakers would you choose? So please let us know. And a uh, big thank you to Ian. We'll show you a little bit more of the uh, close-ups of these lovely speakers as we uh, sort of fade out the video. And uh, I'll put Ian's contact details in the, um, the notes. Happy to help, yeah. as you know, as always. Um, and lovely to see you again, Steve. I thank you. to see Likewise. you looking really well. Um, <laughs> Feeling and, old. Uh, oh, we feel old, don't we? But, you know, old but happy. Yes. Great. Yeah, still here. Yep. So, yes, thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye.